Hello, friends, and good day. This is Fred with One or CCTV of New England, and we are coming at you today with a video on what to do if you have a camera in flux, okay? Every now and then we'll get a camera. Uh, maybe it lost power during the middle of a, you know, firmware upgrade, um, or, you know, there might have been some type of power surge and the camera's not fried, um, but something's just wrong with the firmware or the hardware um, and the camera's unoperational. Uh, oftentimes this can be fixed. We used to use the TFTP tool a lot. That's very confusing to a lot of people, but Hikvision has come out with the new um, batch config tool that can be used to reset these cameras and upgrade the firmware, even if you can't log into them using an IP address. And that's the case today. I have a camera uh, that I can't do anything with. I can't log into it. I can't find it on my network when I do an IP scan. I can't find it with SADP. Um, but I'm going to try to locate it with the new batch config tool. And if I can, we'll upgrade the firmware together and see if we then can log into the camera. Okay, it's quite a process. I'm going to get right into it now. All right, kids, let's get into the meat and potatoes. Before we do, please click that red subscribe button in the bottom right hand corner of your screen if you have not done so. Uh, that allows you to be notified when we post future content. Also, like the video if it's useful to you, um, and don't be afraid to leave comments. A lot of our best content uh, is based off of subscriber uh, suggestion or comment. So the first thing we're going to do, and, and we've used this resource before, is we're going to go to uh, us.heekvision.com, uh, just like you see on the screen here. Uh, and we are going to go into support and resources. We're going to pick downloads and then tools, okay? And in the tools, this is where we downloaded uh, SADP um, when we downloaded that. But this particular tool is going to be the batch configuration tool. There's one for Mac and there is one for a Windows uh, operating system. That is what we have. Um, there's a manual you can download and also the software. Um, so we're going to go ahead and download the software now. See, it will put it to a file. Uh, we'll go ahead and speed up through this process. I'll pick it up once it's downloaded. All right, the download has completed. As you can see, it's a little icon that looks like this. Um, it says batch configuration on it. We'll go ahead and click on that, um, and hopefully, it will pick up my camera. Okay. Um, actually it has, which is kind of cool because I couldn't get it with SADP. So what we want to do now is we want to add this camera. Okay. We're going to click on it and we're going to add it, um, to the reef resource tab above. So if we hit add, it's going to ask us for the admin password. Okay. And we've added the camera. Okay, once you add the camera, it will list um, the device number. Okay, and once you get the device number, you're going to want to go to Hikvision's website and download the latest version of the firmware. Um, that's not the purpose of this video. We've covered that in previous videos. There is a link above right now um, that will walk you through how to download the DAV file um, that you need for the firmware upgrade. Um, so we're going to, again, pause this video. I'm going to download that file and we will pick it up there. All right, at this point, I have downloaded the new firmware for this camera's model number. Um, it is on my desktop, the DAV file. I'll show you that right now. Oh. Digicap.dav right there. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to use this configuration software. Um, and we're going to go to this button right here, which is upgrade. I'm going to select the camera first. Um, we're going to pick upgrade. It's going to ask for that file on my desktop. So we'll go, oh, let's see, we go to desktop and we'll find DigiCap. Dot .dav, okay, and we'll hit OK here, um, and it's waiting for the upgrade. Hopefully we will see a progress bar 
in a minute showing us the progress. Um, if we don't, that means the camera is pretty much toast and won't take a firmware upgrade. This is a last ditch, ditch effort to save the camera. Oh, it's taking the upgrade. Let's see if it does the whole thing. All right, it looks like the camera's almost done. 99% of the firmware upgrade is complete. Um, let's make sure everything finishes successfully. Yeah, it says it completed. Um, so we can hold our breath and see if we can actually log into this guy. There is actually a web browser function, now that I remembered, um, with this, similar to Dawa's. Let's see if that works. We may be able to open the camera using that one. All right, it looks like the camera as it's came up at the IP address that we saw in the config tool. 192.168.0.48 right here. Um, it's come up in a browser. Um, see if we can log in. Is this just plugged in in the living room looking up at the roof? It looks like it's on. Unfortunately, with these Hikvision cameras, oftentimes you have to pull them up in the old school Explorer. Um, it won't work with Edge, which is one of the reasons we really love Dawa cameras. We've been able to pull them up. But I do want to make sure this has a picture before we bring it out to the field. Yep. Son of a gun. Came right up, folks. Um, that tool definitely works because this camera was inoperable uh, before we did the firmware upgrade. What a great tool. Okay, hope you enjoyed the video. Um, as always, like the video if it was useful. Leave us comments um, and subscribe to the channel if you have not already done so. We will see you in the field.